Okay, welcome back. My let's play of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. We have finished up the four big temples, and now we're sort of in pursuit of Zelda, uh, except, you know, there's some... There's some hitches with that. Should be able to just ascend. I have not played in a few days, which means that my fingers are probably going to forget the controls again. But, uh, we'll make do. Oh, shit. Uh, we're going... How far down are we going here? I have misgivings about how far down we're going here. Uh... They're not going to let me just ascend upwards. They're not going to let me ascend upward. Oh, uh, maybe... Okay. Yeah, so I haven't played in a few days. I'm I'm pretty much done with the game. Uh, we're just... playing out the rest of the story. Um, not that I care how it ends or anything like that, but I care about uploading it, and there might be some fun things in there. We may still get to a few shrines or something. Oh, I almost had it. No, oh, I almost had it. There it is. Right through the gloom. Right into the gloom. B3. So it's way down underneath us. I just really missed it. Let's try this again. Don't fall that far. So I need to get down below this level. There's some sort of outcropping here. Yes. That's right, beat his ass, beat his ass. Boom! Kind of tearing through weapons here. No, we got a lot of weapons. want this. Ooh, that's pretty good. Okay, now we're going to a different section of the basement. Yep. It's not accessible in this room. There is a chest, however. Haha. -ha!
Um, yeah, damn. Okay, uh... I feel like that probably... That took us to Zelda's room. Alright. If we wanted to ever sneak into the princess's room, there you go. Okay, I mean, that might be accessible. It's hard to say. I don't care to kill him. Oh, that's... This is... Something? I don't... No, no, no. Maybe we're not saying this is anything. It would be underneath us. Are we gonna take a gambit? Yep. Let's fuse something to this. We got plenty of things. This. Oh no. Ugh. Oh no. Kill it. Shoot it. Kill it. Shoot it. Oh. No, okay. Damn it. Nice. Link, I am waiting. Waiting. Waiting for you. Great. I don't know. Um, I assume the number is a defensive value. Maybe? <laughs> but it, I don't know anything about the durability. So, I don't know. I guess I'm just leaving it there. It seems like a hell of a thing to just let sit, but I don't need it. Now that's durability up. That might be worth it. I'm gonna swap out my cart shield. But I do want a cart. Good. Alright, where are we going now, princess? All the way? Okay, this has got to be the last one, then. Let's just go the... Well, no, I guess I could have ascended. Brains! Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, that's right. This is where we ascended using a little sneaky ascend. I need to cook more. Oh well. At last. I have been waiting for you to arrive. Now, Link. There is something here I want to show you. What do you think? Hyrule Castle, perfect and glorious. Does it awaken memories? Memories of our time here? Well, really take in every detail. After all, this place <laughs> will be the last thing you ever see. That's not good. The fabled swordsman who endured my corruption, who has persisted in slaughtering my servants. Interesting. How is it that you survived my attack? It must have been that wretched arm. No matter. You will not live to see another sunrise. Did my puppet entertain you? She made it so easy to mislead you, to keep you occupied. But such an indirect approach is no longer needed. End this hero's life, my dark servant. Cut him down. Okay, I've already fought like seven Phantom Ganons, but uh, here's five of them. Fuck. Okay, yes. Yes, granted. That hurts, and I don't have a lot of food. Uh, yeah, I really don't. We don't have a lot of food. I'm not prepared for a big epic fight. Fuck. Oh, when in doubt, we could just launch a bunch of Hurts, don't it? Oh, shit. Oh, they're dropping free Gloom Sword. Fuck. Yeah, I guess I should have seen that coming. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. <laughs> fuck, fuck. Get off the pillar, dude. Okay, after this fight, we are cooking up a storm. 
Um, so you can fuse stuff to your arrows, but it's... I wish it was an all more automated process you could just set up. But I understand, I guess. Because you don't really do it often. Eat my dick! Rash bees and demon king bow, they're abundant. This is why we got all those bombs for this exact purpose. <laughs> so many bombs. <laughs> This sounds kind of serious. The man who nearly destroyed the world, Ganondorf. With his return, everyone's in danger. This isn't good. If that really was him, we're in real trouble. 
Hold on. He must not be at his full strength. Otherwise, why flee instead of finishing us off? We should return to Lookout Landing and decide what to do next. Link, you should come too. Hey, look at that. Ho ho. Nice. Bloom Spear. Ah, yeah, at this point we might just want um, Demon King Bow. It's 60 power. Because it's based on your max health. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. I'll keep one of these other ones just because, uh... No, I don't know why. I don't know why I would. Uh, but I will. So the gloom weapons, when you swing them, give you the gloom poisoning or whatever. So you lower your max health temporarily. But they are fairly powerful. Um, gloom sword has a base power of 41, which is pretty nice for a one-handed sword. Um... But I really want at least one of these Gloom Spears. I think that'll be pretty nice. That's a 40. And Spears like the best weapon. And then I guess we'll take one more sword. Alright, that's fine. Uh, okay. Then we're going to travel. We're going to go here. Uh, just because I want to get to a cooking pot. Let's search for the best foods. I think at this point in the game, you primarily want, like, huge stat buffs or just full recovery items. And I'd say full recovery item is more important to me. So, hearty fried wild greens gives you full recovery of your health Plus 25 temporary health. That's pretty fucking good. That's pretty good. Um, Chickaloo tree nuts and Hyrule herbs. That's it? Like one of each? Here's Hyrule herb right there. They're fairly abundant. I have 22 of them. So let's hold one. And then I have to find the tree nut. Thank God for... Nothing, really. Thank God for nothing. There's really no good organization here. That's a pine cone. That's not it. Here, Chickaloo tree nut. Okay, so that's one of each. Let's just see what we get out of it. That's fried wild greens. So that's not... Oh, whoops. Reading is important and good for you. Uh, you have to add in a hearty item, like hearty radish. So I assume to get that full big boy kind of thing... You have to kind of max it out a little bit. I think I have at least one of those radishes. I have big hearty truffles. That probably counts. I have one hearty radish. Okay, let's throw in two hearty truffles. See what we get. Full recovery plus two temporary. Okay. Let's throw in a third one. That's plus three temporary. So obviously, hearty truffle, not really top dog. Damn it. Let's go for two big hearty truffle. Full recovery plus eight temporary. Okay.
So if I just mix one hearty truffle with like raw prime meat, what do we get? Full recovery. That's all I really care about. I mean, the temp is nice, but having a bunch of items that fully restore my HP is pretty significant at this state. Oops, no, stop it. Okay, and one more. Then we've got one hearty radish. So let's mix that with, like, meat and, uh... uh Two mighty bananas. Okay. It's not full recovery, but it's fine. Now, if I just mix four of these bananas with a big chunk of meat... Mighty Meat Skewer. Triple attack up for three minutes and 50 seconds. Okay. That's not bad. That's not bad. I think there's a better... I think Mighty Thistle is better. God damn the organization. I know for a fact I got Mighty Thistle. There it is. Let's grab four of those and a chunk of meat. That's only attack up one. Oh. Really? I thought Mighty Thistle was good, but maybe not. Uh, what else is there? Hardy mush Hasty Mushroom Skewer is for increased movement speed. Stamina. Mighty Meat and Mushroom Skewer. Beginning to question that website. Um, ba -ba. can make pizza. Orgy menue, menue. You have to get porgy fishes combined with tabantha wheat and goat butter. Not even that good of a meal. What the fuck? But it's crazy. There's a lot of there's a lot of recipes in this game. Like with unique names and stuff. Apple pie, vegetable curry. Interesting. No, I mean, I think we probably have yeah, I mean, beyond this, it's basically just, like, grabbing some sort of meal. Um, something with, uh, something that just increases how much hearts it gives. Which I think was... Highly in tomatoes. So if I just mix, let's see, three of those, two meats, what do we get? <laughs> Meat skewer, so that's ten hearts. It's not mind blowing, I guess. Do four with a raw of prime meat. That's eleven. I guess maybe like an actual dish is better, but it didn't seem like it from the images I saw. All I really care about is just recovering health. So just give that to me. Yeah, that's fine. Get some more bananas in here. Yeah, there's attack ups. Not too shabby. Not bad, not bad. Um... All right, uh, I'm fine with that. I think that's good. We don't want to spend the rest of our lives cooking, do we? No one wants that. Yes. 
Looks like it was pretty tough. How did it go? It wasn't too tough. We had a lot of bombs. So to summarize, there's no mistaking that what you all saw at the castle was the Demon King from the Legend of the Imprisoning War. And the princess you've been seeing was actually an imposter. And the reason she appeared at Hyrule Castle was so the Demon King could lure Link into a trap. I knew something seemed weird. I mean, about Princess Zelda not doing anything to help with these troubles everywhere in Hyrule. But it's all connected. The upheaval, the problems our homelands have been facing, the fake princess. It's all happening because the Demon King came back. So then, that means that Princess Zelda isn't actually here. Instead, she's in the distant past and not in the present, right? Yes, we should consider that to be the case, bizarre as it sounds. It also seems that Princess Zelda was trying to somehow defeat the Demon King in the past. Our ancestors made a vow to Zelda. They swore that when the Demon King was revived, their descendants would awaken as sages and fight alongside Link. But with Princess Zelda in the past, we can't ask her what the plan is supposed to be, and she can't be here to fight with us either. We also don't know anything about the Demon King other than the fact that he's bad news and super strong. What do we do? Based on what you each have told me, it appears the princess was making preparations in anticipation of the Demon King's revival in this era. There must be some hint we still haven't figured out here in our time. Right you are. We cannot afford to stand still at a time such as this. It's imperative that we act. But without any leads. Oh, wait. You said that six sages were with King Raru when he fought against the Demon King during the Imprisoning War, right? Wind. Fire. Water. Lightning. And time. That was the princess. Oh, I see. What is it? What do you see? That's it. There was one more sage back then. Exactly. One more sage that might be here now. I'm sure this is the lead we were hoping for. It will be well worth our while to search. Each of you awakened as sages at ruins from the Age of Legends, right? Maybe the remaining sage is in a similar location. That makes sense, so we should search major ruins from the Age of Legends. They're as good a place as any to start. If we just searched all of Hyrule randomly, we'd probably never find the sage. Alright, we have a plan. Let's split up the work and get to it. You four go back to your homelands and gather information about ruins that might be related to the remaining sage. Linky, search around and see if you can find any other undiscovered leads. Everyone's relying on you. Don't let us down. Okay. Find the fifth sage. Now, I imagine I already know where it is. The ruins from the Age of Legend. How am I supposed to know? I'm supposed to just be aware of, like, the plot? What? I can't be expected to know things that have been mentioned in plot details. It's outrageous. But like I said, I imagine it's in Faron Sky in the Thunder... The Thunderhead. That's shockingly open-ended. The Age of Legends. I don't even know what that means. Yeah, I mean, clearly... Clearly not paying attention uh, to the dialogue and the cutscenes and things like that has bit me in the ass. So we're just going to look it up. That's what I do best. Um...
We need to go to Kakariko Village. Okay. I gotcha. We gotta go to Kakariko. Uh, and I definitely know exactly where Kakariko Village is. I'm so aware of it. There it is. See? Imagine how much time I would spend. Apparently they said that it's like... You could, you could guess this just based on what she said in her dialogue throughout the regional phenomena questline. Yeah, I think you're asking a little bit much of me. We need to go over here. Somewhere. Or yeah. We need to talk to this guy. Strictly forbidden to get near that ring ruined by Princess Zelda's orders. You'd better be on your way. Uh. Oh, we need to talk to... Somebody. Yeah. Uh. <sighs> yes, it is I. Paya, the chief. Mm. I'm overjoyed that both you and Princess Zelda are safe, Master Ling. Eh? Zelda who appeared after the upheaval is an imposter born of the Demon King, and the real Princess Zelda is still missing. Are you serious? It's certainly hard to believe. Yet I find it impossible you would make up such a thing. Come to think of it, the Princess Zelda who came to Kakariko Village... She ordered us not to let anyone go near that floating ring ruin, no matter what. Oh. She left as soon as she arrived. I wasn't able to ask her anything more about those unusual instructions. We thought it was to protect the villagers from harm. This ruin does look like it could crash down at any moment. That's what Pai and I suspect, at least. Ah. My apologies, Master Link. I was so pleased to see you, I completely forgot to common courtesy. Please, allow me to introduce Mr. Toro, an esteemed member of the Zonai survey team. I invited him here to investigate the ring ruins that fell on our village. He has incredibly deep knowledge of the Zonai civilization. He's even familiar with Zonai script. He's truly an incredibly talented individual. Oh. It's clear that the floating ring ruin that we were forbidden to explore is a unique and incredibly valuable find. Several more ring ruins with such a shape have fallen down around the village. Most have broken apart in some way. What's fascinating is that a stone slab with writing was found at each site. Deciphering the text showed that each slab contains rather interesting content, including mention of sages. There's still so much we don't understand. Mm. I think that perhaps the ruin floating in the air also has a slab that makes mention of the sages. Until now, I'd given up on investigating the ruin, believing Princess Zelda's orders were for the best. But if that princess was an imposter, that changes everything. Oh. Princess Zelda's imposter, the Demon King's underling, forbade anyone from investigating the floating ring ruin. That must mean that doing so would pose a threat to the Demon King. If that is the case, we must survey that floating ring ruin as soon as possible. Ah. Right you are, Mr. Taro. There's no longer any reason to prohibit your research. Let's open up the floating ring ruin at once. Ah. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> oh. Doesn't seem to be an entrance. Should be a stone slab inside engraved with Zonai script. Yeah, so, uh, let me just mention something that I just discovered I can apparently do. <laughs> While I was reading part of that dialogue out loud, I was thinking about something else. I was not consciously, I don't know, there was a section there where I would, I could not tell you anything about what was said, because I was thinking about something else. But I was still reading it out loud. Word for word. That's really, I think, kind of impressive, to be honest. That's like some two-brain kind of shit going on. Um, I mean, yes, partly that's due to how little I care about what was being said. But still, I don't think I've ever done that before, like where I zoned out 
in the midst of reading dialogue out loud. Okay, I see a perfectly placed platform that allows us to ascend. There it be. Now we just snap a camera shot. A camera shot, as the kids call it. Some might call it a photograph, but they're dumb and stupid. And now we ascend out, I guess. Yes, I went inside. That is correct. What about this image? Check out my camera shot! Huh? Yes, it is. Yes, correct. Uh. Promise Zelda solemnly signed Mineru, Sage of Hide the Key, Southeast, and Trust Future Wish to Feed Demon King. That's all I can make out. Some lettering I can't figure out before Southeast, but Mineru seems to be someone's name. Yeah, I got that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Just tell me where to go. Dragon Land. Ooh, you're right. Dragon Land Southeast. Something about Dragon Land to the Southeast. How familiar are you with Southeast Hyrule? There's a site in Farron that has long been known as the Zonai Ruins. Predates the runes falling from the sky and is home to many ancient relics. If memory serves, there were dragon designs on those ruins that I haven't seen anywhere else. Zonai runes and Farron. Fantastic work. Uh huh. Great. Awesome. When we put together a script on this stone slab and translate it, we get definite dimensions of the Sage Monero, the Demon King, someone with the same name as Princess Zelda. Yes. Okay. I've gotten all that. Thank you for continuing the dialogue. For no real reason whatsoever. <laughs> Please don't talk to me. Oh, God. Okay. Things were really cool for a little bit when we were fighting all the Phantom Ganon. But then, you know, can't have fun all the time, I guess. Starting his investigation around Jakozu Lake. Go southeast. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna I'm gonna go now. Uh Dracozu Lake. There's fast travel here. It's faster. Also, there really should not be a loading screen here. Ugh. Yeah, fucking Nintendo, man. Alright, I see a campfire. I'm betting that's it. Okay, 
we're going inside. Zonai mural complete with intact text. The style's unmistakable. It's nothing short of miraculous that it's still here and basically intact. Which, come to think of it, might be ascribable to the Zonai's advanced technology. I've got a fair bit of knowledge of the script, so I just had to try deciphering it. But some of it still eludes me. Aww. Maybe it's a poem or some kind of code, perhaps. Here, I'll read it out loud so we can both get on the same page. First part says, Where are the electric garb hidden at long-necked dragons along the wide-mouthed Forest serpent. What do you make a forest serpent and dragons there? To me, it calls to mind the tall pillars found around these ruins designed to look like dragons. Forest serpent, though. I haven't seen any designs like that. Widemouth forest serpent. Compare the Jacozu River to a forest dragon. Mm. Offer a Zonai charge to the altar at the tail. Mm hmm? In the world is a Zonai charge? You don't know? Oh. Oh. Yeah, okay. I'll handle this, pal. Oh, charge shirt. Produces electricity during thunderstorm. That doesn't seem like something I want. Okay, so the tail of the river is like here ish. <laughs> At least we're making progress. And at least I get to actually play instead of just uh, clicking through dialogue. This is vaguely the tail region. I don't know how specific we're getting here. I dive into this to get a yep. Tricky. Das. Okay, now I need to have this shirt on. Is that what I got out of this? And I need to put a Zonai charge into the slot.
damn. Okay, um, do I need more of the armor? Wear the electric garb hidden at Long Neck Dragons. A long, okay. So yes, this is our final destination. The final destination. I'm gonna mark it. We gotta go along the river and find more of these entrances. Did they mention pillars that look like dragons? Was that mentioned? Was mentioned. Oh boy, that's a tall climb. Hold on. Hidden at long necked dragons along the serpent. Yeah, I mean, this is definitely the long necked serpent. Now, when you say hidden, what exactly are you referring to? Electrify this somehow? Throw a shock fruit at it? Yeah. No. Hip. Oh, at the bottom. Climb that thing for no reason whatsoever. Most excellent, dude. You're monkeys. But you never see monkeys. Even though there was monkeys in Link to the Past that had monkeys. Were there also monkeys in Twilight Princess? I seem to recall that. So they're not monkey adverse in this series. Maybe there are monkeys in this game. Yeah, okay. 
Let's try this again. Aha! Aha! Wow, that was it. Okay. Um, that's kind of surprising. Because I thought, well... I mean, like I said, you can go up there at any time. I did. And it was kind of like an experience. I don't know if it was a really good one, but it was unique in the whole game. Like, with the whole visibility issue. So I thought you would, like get some sort of new mechanic or there'd be something where you like gradually clear it up or to help you, you know, uh, explore it. But no, now it's just gone and that's it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm going to be, I'm going to be going up there. You don't have to tell me anything. I'll be, I'll be going up there. Ah. <laughs> yeah, you still don't have to. Okay. So we will be... Yeah, we'll be going up there. No doubt. Uh, but that is for next time, I guess. We are good enough here. My name is Mang. Game Watch has been Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I'll see you fine folks in the next part.